What's going on guys, my name is Styles, and welcome to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary and um, I'm playing Domination on Village using the Type 95 and this is, um, oh my god this gun is insane. Now I'm using the theater mode and this is the first and last time I'll ever use theater mode because it's fucking terrible. Um, it's so unreliable, it makes you have bad hit detection in the game um, and also the, the actual theater mode itself I don't think is as good as Black Ops's. So, um, me and friends, we joined a little bit late into this game, uh, it's a domination, obviously, and, uh, you know, we're being double-capped, so, you know, we're changing this, I'm gonna cap B, this indicative there, like a bounce on B. I'm throwing down a Betty, and I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I think that was one of the first games I used Bettys, but I didn't really use them anymore. And, uh, yes, the gameplay, I got on a bit of a tear with this gun, um, it starts off a little bit slow, but then it picks up, and it's pretty exciting gameplay, actually. Um, which is what I want to bring to you guys, so, um... I really want to discuss the highlight of Call of Duty. Now, every every COD game has had its thing. It's had its niche, right? Every COD game. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm only going to hi highlight the you know the four main CODs. Um, you know, you know, uh, COD Four, World of War, Modern Warfare Two, and Black Ops. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm not going to go as far as like COD Three and COD Two because I didn't play those games and I don't think that's when the the series really picked up on COD 4, I do believe. But, um, yeah, COD 2 looks fun, but I haven't actually played it. And I'm just going to stick from, you know, COD 4, because that's where the main multiplayer aspect came in. With, you know, perks and everything. So, COD 4, the one thing everyone bitched about at the time was Frag Times 3. That was the main thing, because it was like a mini airstrike. I mean, that could easily get you your kill streaks in one life, you know. Just, you know, especially on a smaller map, you just throw your three, three nades, boom, there's your UAV or your airstrike, and you've you practically got your helicopter. And that's what pissed people off, because nades were so effective, and you could throw them so far, and that's what pissed people off at the time. Now, obviously, that's we, didn't, we wouldn't see that as too much of a big deal now, because we've, uh, you know, already played games where, you know, explosions have been a lot worse than that, but, um... I'm just going to move on uh, to World at War. Now, World at War, the issue at the time, because people, you guys might not even, some of you guys might not even go back as far as, you know, you might have just got into it to Modern Warfare 2, but in World at War, the one thing that pissed everyone off the most and what everyone bitched about was the MP40, and usually the MP40 Juggernaut, Betty, Steady Aim combination. That was like the noob combo, but it was also the most effective. I mean, the MP40 was an, a submachine gun, and it killed so quickly. Like it was, it was insane. I mean, the uh, they the last attachment, dual mags, um, had like 64 bullets in, and it had a medium rate of fire. You know, the most powerful SMG. Uh, the hip fire was insanely accurate, and you know it was so controllable. Like the recoil, you could just pop fire people across the map any any day. And that that was the gun that pissed everyone off. That was the gun that you'd see most commonly. And it was just completely dominant to most of the other guns. I mean, oh, it was the ultimate noob gun. It was put in the game to be the noob gun. Now, <laughs> next one is Modern Warfare 2. Now, Modern Warfare 2 is probably the most renowned, I'd say. It's probably the thing that pissed me off the most out of everything. And that was Danger Close One Man Army Noob Tubes. J Who's... That that was the stupidest idea ever. Like that game was ruined by perk combinations. I said it again. I said it once. I'm saying it again. That game was ruined because of that, and that was just it was the worst. I mean, it's early gameplay breaking. I I reckon Treyarch would have patched that. It was so bad, and Infinity Ward is not very good at patching games. But honestly, to God, that thing sucked. It was it was so good that it sucked that when you died from it, obviously. I honestly do not know what they were thinking when they were putting in one man army, you know. Well, they can have infinite anything. Oh, that's fine. I mean, I'm s uh, it's just it was so bad. I mean, games Ground War was unplayable for a time and it still is bad now to this day. And I don't want to be this, this to be a big rant commentary, but finally we are on to Black Ops. Black Ops. I think most of you will <laughs> Of know what I'm going to say, and that is Ghost. Now, this is probably the least, most problematic uh, ruin game ruining thing, 
the the problem with Ghost is not that it was unfair because Assassin in this game is used a lot. Not that it was unfair, it was that it slowed the pace of the game down to a snail's pace. It was so slow. Black Ops was so slow. Like the maps were okay on Black Ops, but oh, it it you just you wanted to shoot yourself when you call in your UAV. You just wanted to leave the game because it was so frustrating seeing nobody on the UAV pick like pop up. It was so bad. I I don't understand why they didn't address that some more. You know, make it so the game. Uh, it just I think there's a whole engine and the whole way the game was played that it just slowed the game down. Now, finally, we're on to Modern Warfare 3, and so far, a big question mark pops up. There is nothing in this game so far. That um, people are gonna be, that people are pissed off about. To you know, people are in, pissed off about little things. But there's nothing major that every single person is screaming at the top of their lungs they hate. There's nothing that you know us guys are, like, are screaming every day. You know, going on YouTube commenting, oh this is newbie. There's nothing that bad. I mean, there's little things like the gun I'm using currently is the best gun in the game by far. No, theater mode fails there a bit. It is the best game in, gun in the game. I, I don't care what you say. This gun is insane. Um, I'm using... Oh, I don't, I'm not in this gameplay, but I'm, I've been using, you know, Rapid Fire and Red Dot. And that thing is OP as a motherfucker. But uh, the fact that you died so fast in this game makes it kind of balanced. Because there's so many guns that do the same damage. I mean, if this was Black Ops and this gun was in the game... Mama, this, this thing is a beast. But... Currently, even though it's so good, you know, there's so many other, like, all of the assault rifles are good from what I've used so far. They're, they're all, like, hold their own. They all have their little thing that they're good at and the little thing they're not good at, and that's what's beautifully ba balanced about it currently. There's no gun that, you know, you can't win most, you can't win gunfights with. For the most part, the best player, you know, comes out on top, and that's what I love about it. Now, I suppose you could mention, like, I don't find the maps too bad, but the maps are not amazing. I've, Sandy Ravage has said it. Tons of commentators have agreed. You know, the maps are... Yeah, they're just not... You don't get excited for them like you used to. I mean, there's no map that's amazing other than, I think, Dome. I love Dome. Dome is so fun. But, the maps are slow. People have problems with hit detection, especially Syndictive. He's been having lots of problems with it. I don't really believe it was that bad. And then he uploaded a video, and it was, and, it, and his looked terrible. And another thing is the kill streaks. People don't like the way the kill streaks are. Mm, I, I, uh, it's it's nice to have a change. I like um, the specialist package is fucking fun to use. And um, yeah, that's why currently, currently this game is flawless for me. But you know, there's gonna be something that people are gonna pick up on, and that's gonna suck. Because this is the, well, this is we're within the first, you know, week of release, and it's always fine. Then and everyone loves it, but something something's gonna happen that is gonna, you know, be bitched about because, you know, we're everyone on YouTube is an above average player because we're putting that much time into YouTube and getting tips and stuff. We're all above average players for the most part, and um, you know, the the better you get. The more frustrated you get at dying because you feel like you should be, you know, not dying, you should be owning. But there's a quick domination gameplay where we come back and win and I get, you know, 8130 and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like if you do. And I should be bringing you dual comms and live comms and beautiful stuff. So, peace guys.